So I guess we're uh, we're preparing for war. And we are really checking our map to make sure we have it all set up. Two weeks worth of planning traps. Okay. And AJ's been in bed most of the time. Poor kid. AJ? Where are you? Doesn't sound like him screaming. It sounds like a baby screaming. Oh, we're dreaming, aren't we? Is that your spirit animal? Clem spirit animal be a horse? to have all the time about what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. No. Like 18 days. If I tried hard. I don't know about that. I've never met anyone who could go more than a few days without sleep. Then I'll be the first. If we were in danger, then I would. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. Yes, I do. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. Aww. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. Not as tough as you. Well, Aww. no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work to atone me. <sighs> I'm gonna help you more so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol. What? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. 
What if you stayed here instead? Protect me you while I sleep. You go back to sleep. I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> what is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Aww. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. I think you need that. AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. Oh, AJ. A little murderer. God damn it, I did it again. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. Oh. It's my turn to be lookout. What you intend both I have other look stuff at? What stuff? Nothing. It's just, it's important. God damn it, Lewis! Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days, almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. <laughs> let's go talk now. Let's go see what this is. Pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Fuck raiders. Wait, does that say leave or die? Yes, that does. Okay. Hey, kiddos. It'll work. It has to. Hey, kids. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Smart ass. all the heads for just to make them uneasy hey Mitch hey what are you doing mm, test gotta see if the bomb will go off this little thing won't kill anybody just gotta see if it'll light yeah it better our whole plan rests on that little thing if they get in I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them expect the unexpected yeah, something like that. I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. This can't be a good idea. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work... Fuck! Shit! 
You got this, champ. I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. You help Mitch with this bomb. Bomb. Oh, that's over here. I see a dot. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Probably use the scrap wood. Barricades. Is there actually no one in the graveyard? I thought. I thought there'd be someone over here. Oh shit! Dog's still here. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. Hey, doggy. What are you doing down there, Rosie? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, what did Marlon used to do? <laughs> Aww. You dick. Bit on Marlin's grave? <laughs> Tempting. Tempting. But no. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Spit on Brody's grave. Is it me or like... I kind of want to be like for those who spit on Marlin's grave. It says Marlin will remember that. Just... Just because of reasons. He's just there in the afterlife and he's like, Oh, I'll get you back for this, Clem! Hey, little Lucio Archer. What are you doing? You being a Hanzo? Okay, so you're being a Hanzo? It. Yeah, What's going on? Right. In a few weeks or days or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. What was For stupid years, I sat around making confidence? stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While well, my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Here, you take it. Are you, you sure? keep what I mean, you kill. It's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. Mm. We saw me hunt rabbits, so this should go well. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Well, okay then. Okay. Game. Fire. 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 Fire! Fire! Damn! Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem? Thank you. 
for all of it. Hey, Violet. Check in with everybody. Everyone's doing fine. Even the doggy. Can I put the doggy in my room for decoration? I would I would like to have a Rosie I could just pet every once in a while. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or you know, a total fucking mess. They're trying. Well, honestly, it's not perfect, but they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't gonna stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem. They stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. No. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. I'm trying to help. So help and Break stop arguing. Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. Wow. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't well, played a game watch, in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Oh. Truth or dare. You don't use cards in truth or dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. Let's shuffle this shit real good. Oh. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary Flip Kill. Ruby, a Sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Hmm. Let's see. I would marry. Ruby? <laughs> nah, we'll go for James. James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Ruby? Not a Sam. Just go, Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> but, sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. Ah. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. 
Do your worst. Ooh. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend of Sim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. Oh, this game is rigged. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a Sim. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam, that's how a game dies. Oh, but I guess we'll still play. A sim, you've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. Oh. So, Ruby, why the hell would you hit, hit a sim like that? You know he's crushing on you. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try. But I need a second person. Oh. Uh. You know, we're gonna follow Lewis this time. I'm curious on uh, what this will entail. Lighting you got here, bro. The candles, the piano. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. It's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. Mm -hmm. 
So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I'm keeping it together. It isn't easy, but the alternative is giving up, and I'm not doing that. Oh man, my whole give up plan is shot to hell. If you're not gonna, I definitely can't. <laughs> so, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. I have no idea when how I get to the tune signal, the piano. Play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Oh, what? Let's press them all. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great. That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. What? I know. Sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. Well, okay then. Okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny. It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. I can't believe I fell for that. It's good to see you like this. Louis really like us, don't he? What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. We should mark the occasion. Sure. You done tattooing that piano? Scarification. I think you've got I a like future it. in Whitland. I like saying Whitland. Whitland. Okay, I'll stop. Whitland. Yeah. All done. That is a fine pair of letters, if I do say so myself. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Oh. <sighs> Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. Are you feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here. Listening. Blowing on the strings. Coming here to help me with my project even after everything I put you through. And everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. We want to do this? Yeah, I think so. So, um, I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so there. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. You stabbing me in my sleep, yes. Declaration of crush, no. You're such a weirdo. Yeah, but apparently you did that. So who's the real weirdo here? It's both of us. <laughs> He's got you there, Clem. I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. Aww. It doesn't. It didn't say Lewis would remember any of that. 
There was this girl, Clementine, and she like liked me. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. If you do. Okay, but not the F word. Shit is the upper limit. Ah, oh, that guy is a... F a, a shitbird. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Clem. Come on. It's adorable. I'll take big shit on his head. Okay, that's enough. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. What? I'm the one that kills him. Okay? No, AJ. He's too dangerous. But... No buts. Hmm. Well, shit. You said I could. There's 12 of them now. But what if we played rock, paper, scissors? What? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Please. No. AJ, I said no. Come on. You won't always be able to tell me no. What did you just say? Nothing. I didn't mean it. Clem, to get I see something. Walking. Not a walker? Here, you look too. pulling a carriage. Anything else? It's someone sneaking along right by it. I'm clicking, but nothing's That's happening. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts. Probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. Look out for each other. No matter what happens, look out for ah, each other. Shit, shit, fuck! Oh, oh, shit, shit, fuck! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! Come on! Oh, come on. Go. Go. I'll be all right. 
<laughs> don't have much time. Go! <laughs> I need arrows. It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. Fuck is all this? Focus. They just scare crows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. No, stay together so the bomb can kill you all. the chance oh really where's our new recruit they're not yours search the yard if Clementine moves shoot her We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. Take me! You want soldiers? Fine! Take me with you! But leave everyone else. You'd do that? You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. Bitch! God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. Don't. Don't ever say his name. I knew Lee better than- Ever! Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother, she missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. Not shooting her. Kill who you have to. Take the rest. Right shot. Now go back. Follow them. <sighs> Used to be a raider, then I took an arrow in the no, no, I'll stop, I'll stop. 
Babel gets pretty fucked up though. Not because he's ugly or he looks weird, it's just. it's creepy. Easy. Kidnapping children? See you in hell. I'll see you in hell. You'll be there for a good long time before I show up. I don't mind waiting. Okay. What? 
Of that first zombie, which just fucking shadow stepped and dodged all our fucking arrows. Sim and Omar and God damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. James does. Well, we've got someone who does. Make his ass talk and squeal. Oh, oh yeah. Suffer the children. You allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. Lewis was comfortable when you said you were sorry you and AJ hurt him. Lewis was astonished when you confessed you had feelings for him. Lewis felt betrayed when you allowed him to be taking after spending time together. <laughs> What? I'm sorry. I'm gonna say Vi. Vi is the shit. She she's the leader. She's the next thing to the warrior woman. She's Vi. Vi is cool people. I'm not saying Louis ain't cool people, but I wouldn't say I allowed him to be kidnapped. I allowed him to survive. Violet probably would have died. Cause I think Violet was being attacked by a zombie. Lewis was just kidnapped. His body was never Repentant. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. Oh, he was re resigned after you give him dibs on killing Abel. After you didn't give him dibs. I can read. I can read. Lily, you bitch. I don't care if she felt unsettled. Lily was gratified that you remember her. Lily was pleased when you accepted her help to stand. I thought she would be cool people. I thought she would be like, hey, you know what? Maybe our community is better. And 
you can you can see for yourself you know we'll take you there not hey we're gonna kidnap your bitch asses and we're gonna make you fight in our war Oh, you left Vet James feeling trusted. James felt helpful when you let it feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you're originally from Georgia. You left Violet feeling vengeful. Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. Violet was disappointed that you chose to spend time with Lewis instead of her. Oh, come on. She'll get over that. What the fuck is despondent? I don't I don't know that word. Ten was thoughtful when you said people need to make the new rules. Ten felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker age will end someday. It will. It will. left Ruby feeling grateful. Ruby was distressed when you said everyone shared responsibility for what happened to Marlon. Ruby was consoled when you expressed sympathy for finding the school nurse. That was the right thing to do to bury her properly, not just burn her. Mitch? Dead. Mitch was a dick. And then he was a dick, and then he just ended up being bad boy. And then he ended up being bad boy dick. And then he just ended up being like a cool bad boy. And then he died. <laughs> Mitch was surprised when you admitted AJ was wrong to kill Marlon. He was surprised? Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. Well, too fucking bad! Abel is captured. Abel is our bitch now. Abel was aggravated when you warned Violet and Lewis to run in the forest. Abel was star when you told Lily to take you and leave the others. Omar was kidnapped. Rosie was loyal to you after you petted her in the courtyard. Lily was annoyed you didn't choose his trap to defend against the raider. Oh. A sim was kidnapped. Could we have saved a sim? Like, was... was? I don't think there was anything we could do to save Omar or a sim. I mean, we weren't given a choice to do anything other than choose which trap to use. I, if I knew that it was just going to be one fucking duffel bag of bricks, I would have went the log. The log would have been bigger, would have covered more ground, and... I thought the whole point of the bricks was there was going to be multiples. And we could, you know, miss some. Or, you know, have multiple ammos to... Or just throw the damn bricks at them. You know, there's lots of options. Did we find all the collectibles? We found all the collectibles! Venus Flytrap, our cool boar skull which Clem really likes. And our mushroom, which we almost, which we could have eaten. But we decided not to because most mushrooms are bad to eat. There's actually very few mushrooms you can eat. Like out of, out of the whole spectrum of mushrooms, most of them will hurt you or kill you. Some of them you can eat and even less of them will make you trip out. So... Eating a mushroom, not always a good thing. Especially a strange, mysterious one. Well. That was episode two. Some cool shit went down. I enjoyed this. I'm enjoying these episodes. There, oh, I bumped the microphone. Hopefully that didn't, like, do anything. Hope not. I guess I'll find out later, won't I? Um... <laughs> Well, I feel like we've atoned for Marlon. Marlon? I forget his name. Or, you know, we tried to atone for, for AJ. I don't know how that worked out, but it seems to have worked out pretty well so far. Everyone likes us again. 
And everyone who doesn't is either dead or kidnapped, so... Well, shit. Yeah, I, I guess our chances of staying with this group are pretty high right now. But, uh, yeah. Episode 3, Broken Toys. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I did. And, uh, take care of my people. I hope I bumped the microphone again. Son of a bitch. Take care of my people. Stay awesome. Garzi out. Looking for you, but you're not around. And that's the way.